At 2.35 p.m. today, India Moon walked its way to writing history from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota. ISRO scientists successfully launched Chandrayaan-3 into the moon's orbit for a soft landing on the lunar surface. Hopes of a billion Indians and the eyes of scientists across the world were on this mission. Let me tell you about India's date with the Earth's most romantic natural satellite. This is India's third mission to the moon after Chandrayaan-1 and 2. After today's launch, it will take around 42 days to make a soft landing, tentatively on 23rd or the 24th of August. If India succeeds, then she will join the exclusive club of three countries that have done a soft landing so far. They are America, China and the former Soviet Union. So far, only China has managed to get it right in the first attempt. For the first time, a spacecraft is going to soft land on the moon's completely unexplored South Pole and discover important secrets. So far, all missions were explored around the moon's equator. It is not easy to land on the moon's surface. The average distance between the Earth and the moon is 384,400 kilometers. During the month of July, the distance between Earth and the moon is less, relatively less. India's biggest and heaviest rocket, LVM-3, also known as the Bahubali of rockets or Fat Boy, that has a spectacular past record, was used to launch this spacecraft. Now let's try to understand why we are going to the moon. The main objectives of this mission is to do a soft landing on the moon's surface, study it and conduct experiments. The data collected from this mission will be very crucial in the future missions including Artemis that will land the humans on the moon and to also understand the presence of water ice there. The cost of this project is 615 crore rupees or 75 million dollars, much cheaper than some of the Hollywood and Bollywood movies. Remember, ISRO is known to carry out big missions on a low budget. This mission is being led by ISRO's star scientist Ritu Karidhal Srivastava. She is also known as India's rocket woman. She was also the deputy director of India's Mars mission.